One of the questions we often get is, why do you guys use this particular group model for these psychedelic experiences? Why can't you just people just drop into a retreat like they do with ayahuasca, meet a bunch of people and then go on a journey? Uh, for us at Gathering, the preparation is almost paramount for transformation. We spend eight weeks of, of getting eight people into a community of practice with two facilitators online every week we teach a, an important skill called embodied listening. Now this is at the foundation of the kind of work we're doing. You know, what is embodied listening? It's the ability to listen to someone else without jumping in, without trying to change, but I'm trying to embody, I'm trying to listen for what's happening in my body while they're speaking so that I can give an emotional feedback to them about what landed for me in my body. When you said this in your statement, this is where I felt it in my body and this is the emotions that came up for me. And it's somehow in that process of what we call the polyvagal model of co-regulation, where our nervous systems are actually co-regulating in a group of people and we start to feel safe. And when that happens after about week three or week four in our calls, that we begin to kind of feel a deep sense of safety and connection with one another. What happens then is that you can open up to the wisdom that is inside of yourself and that you don't no longer fear fear around these people. You feel openness, you feel excitement for what's possible. And when you have a group container that builds that sense of connection, that sense of intimacy, that sense of feeling seen and known, when that happens, that's the magic. The community is the medicine. And then into that safe, beautiful container, we drop in psilocybin in a retreat setting in person. The openness that people feel to the medicine and to themselves, they encounter deep truths. They begin to shift things in their life. They let go of bitterness, of anger, of hurt from a divorce or pain, trauma from childhood that they've been holding for 50 years. They've never been able to let it go. And in the safety of this container, they finally let it go for the first time in their life. And they had now have access to parts of themselves that they've never had access to before. And so this container, this group model that we've developed uh, is, is to us is absolutely essential for how we work with the mushroom.